So I'll just start from the beginning and, you know, I'm a Denver native. I uh, grew up in North Glen. I was born in Denver General uh, when it was called Denver General. Uh, I was put up for adoption at birth and I'll say that in the very beginning because that's all I ever knew my entire life, but later on I learned some different things. I spent about five years in foster care and then I was adopted by a loving family in North Glen. Uh, my mother was Native American and Hispanic and my father was Native American and German. I think the hardest part about growing up as a foster child was acceptance, not from the parents that adopted me, but acceptance from the rest of the family. Um, I think it's one thing for the parents to show that love and that support and that protection, but the rest of the family wasn't as bought into that. So it was difficult dealing with aunts and uncles and cousins that didn't really see you as family. And I went into the Navy and learned, you know, a job ethic and I learned, you know, a, a trade that I could build on. Came out of the Navy, went to work for Coppers Industries over here off of 58th and I-25, became a master mechanic, welder fabricator, plant operator. Um, did that for 26 years. So the foster homes gave me the background to be successful and be who I was. I was very fortunate. But then when I became a county commissioner, I saw an avenue to pay back, to try to make what I went through and what others go through a little less traumatic. These kids are taken from their home, from their friends, from their schools. They're taken from everything through no fault of their own. My life has been traumatic, but in the past few months, what I've learned is I found my biological parents, which was totally on accident. What I found out was is that they had never talked about us as to any of the family. They had never talked about us being born or being put into adoption or foster care. So it was traumatic for the family to kind of deal with that. After time, it became easier because you know, there's not a lot of time that you get to spend with relatives. And the ability to come back and say, I get to meet my mother after 54 years and be able to physically see her, touch her, talk to her, regardless of the circumstances, that was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. I met her for the very first time a week ago and we had a great conversation. She since then has opened up to the entire family and has been shocked and amazed at all the acceptance from the family and the fact that they even said, well, we already knew that. Because secrets, although they may not be able to be talked about, most of the time people know. But it would have been easier if she wouldn't have been a good person to just say, well, I know who you are, now I'm done. But now, she is a good person. She's very caring, very nurturing. She's given a great life to my sisters, right? And I want to get to know her. I've led a great life. She made that decision and gave me a great life. I can't fault her for that. I found, did find out that my father died in Utah in 1983. So, as much as I would have loved to have had a conversation with them and connect, I'm just glad that I knew who he was and who his family members are and be able to go back and connect through that route. I think foster parents, it has to be a calling. You know, it can't be a job. You can't be doing it for the money. You can't be doing it for any other purpose than you really want to help somebody. Right? You have to say when you go into foster, being a foster parent, I believe, that I'm going to throw everything I believe out the window and I'm going to start from this point. For me, I have one singular view of my foster life, my finding my biological parents, the conditions I grew up in, the conditions that I provide in my own life. They won't match to anybody else. Everybody's story is different. 
But I think everybody has the potential and possibility to be as successful, if not more successful. Whether you're in foster care or you're providing foster care, like I was. I just think they need to, I just think that foster care is a very difficult road with the most reward at the end.